The team behind Ticket to Ride Legacy, Rob Davio, Matt Leacock and Alan R. Moon have now announced a range of new details about Ticket to Ride Legacy Legends of the West. While the core of the gameplay will remain the same, you're still going to be drawing cards in the same way, there are some very notable tweaks. There's going to be a new scoring system that means you are not scoring throughout the game when you place trains down. Instead, you're rewarded at the end of the game depending on how many trains you've got left. Therefore, it doesn't necessarily matter, at least at the start of the Legacy experience, if you're building a 4 route or a 1 route, as long as you're getting your trains down. Scoring is done by money earned, so you'll earn more money depending on how many trains you've put down during play. A new type of card has also been introduced in the Legacy experience, newspapers. Shuffled into the main draw deck, when they are revealed into the market, they trigger an event. You turn the top event card over, and these are either ongoing effects, such as white becoming wild, or just instant effects, such as if you've built into a certain location, take some money from the bank. And players will also gain bonuses. These are special cards that each player has, and they are matching your colour, at least at the start of the Legacy experience, we don't know past that. So, for example, if you're the yellow player and you build on a yellow route on the board, you would claim $2 from the bank. What do you think about these new bits of information? Obviously, they don't spoil the Legacy experience, but they do maybe hint towards some of the tweaks and changes we can expect along the journey. Are you going to be checking out Ticket to Ride Legacy Legends of the West when it releases later this year? Let me know in the comments section below.